Mina Kotan. Mina brought a positive, respectful attitude to the show. She stayed focused and calm under pressure, consistently squeezing the best notes out of her Caribbean style. One thing Top Chef shows is that no chef is 100% consistent. She had an off day at the wrong time and just barely lost the finale. With family ties to the ruler of Saint, Lucia, and a great Top Chef performance under her belt, Nina has become the culinary ambassador of Saint Lucia. She's also become a beloved chef in her adopted hometown of New Orleans. Paul Kui. Paul Kui powered through season nine so hard that the producers actually edited the show to make him seem less dominant and preserve a bit of uncertainty. Head judge Tom Colicchio even called him the best chef in Top Chef history. He won half of the season's 16 challenges, picking up a nice chunk of bonus money on top of the finale winnings. Paul opened Cui in Austin, Texas, and it was named 2014's Best New Restaurant in America by GQ. He's had some struggles with the law and his image since then. Fabio Viviani Fabio Viviani showed clear cooking skills throughout season 5, at least when he was able to cook Italian food. Fabio brought Italian flair to the show not only with his cooking, but with the gregarious personality that won him fan favorite for the season and made his bromance with Stefan Richter one of Top Chef's more entertaining subplots. Since appearing on the show, Fabio has built himself into quite a brand. He has made television appearances, opened numerous restaurants, penned cookbooks, and even sold cookware on QVC. The ladies love him. Fabio also runs the Mercado chain and Siena Tavern in Chicago. Carla Hall before she appeared on Top Chef, Carla Hall had already been both an accountant and a model. She started at a food delivery service before becoming a restaurant chef, and then a caterer. On season 5 she was consistently upbeat and likable. She cooked unfussy food, and claimed that love was the most important ingredient. After her loss in Season 5, Carla reappeared on Top Chef, All Stars in Season 8, where she won fan favorite. Carla made appearances demonstrating her cooking and philosophy around the talk show circuit before landing a lucrative regular gig on the weekday talk show The Chew. Hosea Rosenberg Known as the least entertaining Top Chef winner, Hosea did stir up some controversy by canoodling with one of the female chef testers. Hosea's season focused much more on the brash Europeans Fabio and Stefan. Stefan had a decent chance to win in the finale, but lost to Hosea when the judges found Stefan's dessert uninspired. After Top Chef, Hosea founded the Black Belly line of culinary businesses, catering weddings and farm-to-table food events. Stephanie Izzard Stephanie did very consistent work throughout her season, despite not demonstrating a whole lot of personality. By winning season four, she became the first female top chef, though many fans believe the title should have gone to Richard Blythe's. Liza's cooking dominated the season, but when he choked in the finale, Stephanie was able to grab the title. After her win, Stephanie was able to open Girl and the Goat in Chicago. The restaurant was well received and led to her Girl in the Kitchen cookbook. Hong Hai. Hong Hai. Marcel Vignorin. Marcel Vignorin. Ilan Hall. 
Much of Alain's season 2 food looked unbelievably delicious. Video with clams and saffron, yes please. However, his reputation was tarnished by his involvement in a physical altercation between Cliff and seasoned villain Marcel that got Cliff booted from the show. Alain went on to save face by defeating Marcel in the finale. With his Top Chef winnings, Alain opened the Gorbals in downtown Los Angeles, as well as a Brooklyn location, Gorbals, which opened in 2014. Catch Alain hosting Knife Fight on the Esquire Network. Harold Dieter Season 1 winner Harold Dieter was both a heck of a nice guy and pretty dominant in the kitchen throughout the first season. While the food in the finale from Harold and runner-up to Fonny Faison sounded about equal, Harold came out on top when everyone remembered that they liked him more than her. Since taking his zero winnings, Harold has opened three restaurants in New York, Perla Can Shop and The Marrow. Unfortunately, they have since closed. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.